What is up, everyone? It is Diecast Buffet here again. Today we have the first 2311 2024 diecast to be released. It is Tyler Reddick's Air Jordan Flight Paint Scheme. Oh boy, this is going to be an awesome diecast. I think this ran at the Daytona 500. I could be mistaken. Regardless, let's go ahead and open up this diecast. Alrighty, folks, right out of the good old box and check out this die cast right here, man. Oh, this is so cool. These brand new Toyota Camrys, they might just be my favorite out of the two new die cast molds in 2024. And another Jordan die cast to get made. This is just so cool, guys. Look, if you want this die cast and you don't want to have to wait like a month for the plastic chassis edition to come out, guys, go to Circle B die cast, tap in. Get yours ordered today. If they have it still in stock, this is the die-cast chassis a variant of it. The only difference is it has a metal chassis. That's literally it. It's great. Check it out. You can use promo code diecast buffet and you get the car so much sooner than the plastic chassis. I mean, like real talk, you get it so much sooner. Like, just for a quick little example, I did a die-cast review on like the Josh Berry Sunny D car and stuff. That was like the first batch of the Ford Mustangs. I did that almost a month before the plastic chassis came out. That's what I'm saying. If you want it now, go ahead and get it ordered. Get it on the way, bro. What are you waiting on? So another Jordan paint scheme gets made. And let's just be honest. This could not have been a more interesting time to do this diecast review. If you know, you know. <laughs> that is, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> in the future, you might be watching this video wondering what I'm talking about. Uh, I, I don't think anybody's going to be uh, forgetting what uh, may or may not have happened uh, the, the the Talladega week, give or take, in 2024, the news that dropped. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, he's got the Jumpman logo right there with flight. Now, the top of the car kind of has this, like, paint splatter kind of texture to it. Really, really interesting for the front of the car. And I love how the gradient is right uh, where the headlights are. That just looks so sharp, man. Got okay, Camry right there, 2311, number 45, Sunoco, Sunoco. I love the new Toyota Camry mold. Oh, my goodness, man. It. I'm not sure which one I like more, but I might. I might like the, the Toyota Camry just, just a little bit more. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do. I don't know. I like the Ford and the Toyota 2024s a lot, but, man, these Camrys, bro, they're dope, bro. Go left side of the die cast. I like how they put the flight. Uh, little signature and the Jumpman logo kind of in the darker portion of the car so it stands out, right? It kind of pops up. And then you have the gradient that kind of gives that unique style. I don't know why, but that just looks so cool. Got the McDonald's logo right there. Got a mobile one. Notice they don't have the TRD logo on the side skirt. They kind of replaced that I guess with just a sponsorship area. This right here, you got the uh, Goodyear. I wish they would have done a little bit better job with that, but it is kind of a quirky area for it to be because it's like in the middle of the tr the transition, so I'm not sure how realistic that is to the real car. Cup Series, get Tyler Reddick, Pinnacle, get uh, Toyota, Mac Tools, something else, and 2311. Go to the back end of the die cast, got Air Jordan. I mean, who wouldn't want a die cast that says Air Jordan on it, bro? Like, if you like, you know, Nike, Jordan, stuff like that, th this is dope, okay? <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest. I freaking love uh, the Jordan shoes and stuff. They look dope. Got Toyota right there, number 45, mobile one, and not sure what that decal is there. Got the little Toyota badge up there on the Camry logo. Kind of sleek, kind of stealthy. I like that. Got the right side of the die cast. And yes, I, I do notice there is a, a a little bit of a paint chip right there. Got the right side of the car. Man, these new Toyotas are so cool. And also, this is another thing that a lot of newer fans might not know. They have not been making the uh, 2311 die cast in the Authentics line. So if you're thinking, hey, I'm going to wait and pick it up in the Authentics line, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be made in the Authentics line because it, they have not had a 2311 die cast made in that line, I want to say in like two years. I could be mistaken on that. So what I'm trying to get at is there's only one way to get this die cast, and that's through the Gold Series or, you know, the die cast chassis or the plastic chassis variant. And for those newer fans, because we've had a bunch of new subscribers, so I think it's important to educate people, the the community, the diecast community, calls this the Gold Series or the ARC. If you're wondering what ARC stands for, stands for Action Racing Collectibles. This logo, 
uh, right here. That little uh, the little A with the uh, uh, what is it checkered flag pattern. That is the Action Racing Collectibles logo. So when people say ARC or Gold Series, that's what we mean. Sometimes we just call it the boxed versions of it. So we have little you know jargon and stuff we we call diecast. Anyways, go to the top of the car. I love how the red really pops out on this uh, die cast. Got number 45, Air Jordan. And it kind of makes the, the roof of the car look a little bit smaller because it blends in with the back window. And it kind of reminds me of the Gen 4 cars, how they used to have a very short and small uh, roof of the car. Uh, and then once the Gen 6 era began, they made the roofs a lot longer. Gets uh, Reddick right there and no logo on the deck lid. Guys, this is an awesome die cast. Um, they don't make all the Jordan paint schemes, unfortunately. There's going to be another one that's going to be made in 2024. The Talladega Raced Win, and then the Talladega Clean Version. That, uh, what is it, the, the white and black Jordan car? I don't know what the, I don't remember what the actual name is. But anyways, he ran it twice. Atlanta Fall and then Talladega Spring, I think. Maybe another time. I, I can't remember on that. Anyways, I've seen the prototypes for it, so it's getting made. Super awesome die cast. So if you want to get both of those cars, they're going to get made, right? Hey, you could have three Jordan paint schemes for 2024. Maybe they make another one. I hope so. They made quite a bit of them in 2023. And then naturally they made Kurt Busch's win, which this paint scheme does remind me of a little bit uh, from 2022 at Kansas. That is all for now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm telling you, man, the first 2311 uh, cars are out. I'll show you the other one real quick for the Bubble Walls fans. Finally, they, they came back with a much better McDonald's looking car. <laughs> I mean, last year's looked like a test car. This reminds me much more of Tyler Reddick's 2023 McDonald's car. So that is awesome. I'll show some other new die casts that have literally just dropped. You're going to love these two. Woo! If you like Darlington, oh boy. Kyle Larson, Terry Labonte, Chase Elliott, Dale Jr. I mean, I'm just going to leave these over here. We got more to show. I mean, why not? We got more brand new die casts in stock at Circle B at the time of this video. Daniel Suarez, Day of the Dead Kubota car. Amazing paint scheme. And then a Kyle Busch FICO car. One of the most random paint schemes ever. I mean, like, real talk. Like, it is so random. I love it. Thank you all so much for watching the video. All of these will be reviewed on the channel, so stay tuned and subscribe for more. That is all for now. Diecast Buffet, signing off.